corporate announcements like earnings reports or trading updates provide excellent reasons to trade stocks, simply because you know exactly when a company is going to release information to the market, which will usually mean that there's likely to be a decent amount of movement in the company's share price. Now, earnings reports are well publicised and are usually known fairly far in advance. Sometimes there are rallies or sell-offs in the run-up to the company's schedule announcement, while analyst expectations tend to already usually be priced into the company's current share price. By taking a long or a short-term position ahead of this news event, you can sometimes beat the crowd and profit from the market reaction on the day of the news. On the other hand, some traders prefer to anticipate the contents of that particular corporate announcement before it's released and then close that trade once the news is out. This sometimes explains why we will often see the company's stock rise in the days before the news event is scheduled, but then suddenly just fall on the day of the release, even though the earnings or trading update is usually in line with consensus or in fact better than the market had expected or forecast. By locking in profits on a pre-results rally, you don't run the risk that the company issues disappointing news. But on the flip side, it also means that you will miss out on any potential strong rally in the event of positive or better than expected results. Understanding or predicting how the market will react to the news is a key challenge for traders, and it's important therefore to gauge the mood of the market. Now to do this, you should look over every bit of information available about the company's recent trading performance, which could therefore help provide hints as to what might be contained in the upcoming news report. Now it's also wise to look at how the stock has performed in the past, ahead of forthcoming data similar to the corporate release that might come out. Now in earnings reports, market consensus is key to share price movement, and it's important to have a good feeling of what expectations are not just for the level of profit, but also in terms of the company's expected outlook for earnings and also perhaps dividend and growth plans. Now this kind of information is usually widely available for publicly listed companies. For many traders, the way to profit from result-driven share price movement is to have already an active trade in the stock at least one day before the event but it means you will therefore need to have confidence in the likely direction of the share price once the scheduled release is published. Now, when it comes to making money out of the financial markets, going along with market sentiment usually makes the most sense, but predicting sentiment and in turn suspected share price movement is sometimes the tricky part, especially around major company news events, such as earnings results. For example, a logical assumption would be to assume that if the majority of investors are, let's just say, positive about a company and it therefore delivers good results, then the share price would rise, and vice versa. If the results are worse than the market expected, then the share price would fall. However, unfortunately, it's not always the case, and sometimes a sharp share price fall on apparently good numbers can be quite baffling to some investors. With companies' earning results, while the figures reported are one contributing factor to share price movement, the company's outlook and projections going forward by what management say is very key, if not more important. For example, is growth slowing for the firm? Are they facing adverse headwinds in the short to medium term? Have they signaled problems with their dividend growth plans? These are all key things to watch and listen out for. Often, if the results are released but there is a fly in the ointment, let's just say the difference between expectations by management and the market, the company's share price will react accordingly. For example, the general market consensus was for Company X to report an annual profit of £1 billion, and the company did deliver that, but management also said it was planning to cut dividends for the next two years, while they also say that earnings growth will be capped in the year ahead, as the business faces a number of headwinds. This may cause some drastic swings in the company's share price. Now, this is actually especially true for AIM listed stocks, where you often see much more volatility, watching the share price skyrocket as much as 70% or plummet just as much the same. However, these sort of unexpected moves can also still provide a really good trading opportunity. Another example let's say you traded ahead of the results and were then disappointed by the share price move. If the medium to long-term view and growth potential for the company is still intact 
and it was just a knee-jerk reaction by the market, such short-term negative reactions can also be a blessing in disguise for the longer-term investors, as temporary blips in the share price can be an ideal time for newcomers to buy into the market, especially if you think the downturn in trading performance was just a short-term passing phase. Another thing to remember when trading stocks is the company's trading performance in comparison to sector peers. Let's use the food retailers as an example. If Tesco reports it has a hard first quarter, it is very likely that Sainsbury's and or Morrison's did too, which would put pressure on its sector peers, even if they are not reporting. Another prime example would be the clothing retailers and the impact of a warm autumn on the autumn winter clothing sales. If Marks & Spencer said it, it's likely next, Debenhams would also suffer too. In other words, it is important to look at the bigger picture and focus not only on the stock's scheduled announcement for that day, but also influencing factors for the sector as a whole and the macro and geopolitical environment as well. Major economic news can also provoke an unexpected reaction, not just for individual shares, but for the stock market as a whole.